What's poppin' y'all? Welcome back to another reaction video. So today we are about to hop into a video by The Detail. This one is Michael and Janet Growing Up Jackson, part one, The Detail. So without further ado, guys, we're just gonna hop straight into this video, so let's go. At no other point in pop history have two members of the same family been able to dominate radio airwaves like Michael Jackson and Janet Jackson. Although they shared the same last name and competed within the pop music scene, both were able to carve musical legacies that were very much independent of each other, despite constant comparisons. Like many blood relatives, they had a lot in common and shared an unspoken affinity. In private, both were shy, spiritual, and sensitive in nature. However, <laughs> on stage they cultivated a larger-than-life persona and were lauded as dynamic performers. Because Michael was first to attain superstardom as the lead singer in the Jackson 5 and later as a solo artist, achieved unimaginable success, ultimately becoming the king of pop. Many believe that, despite Janet Jackson's own accomplishments, she was destined to remain in her older brother's shadow. Fiercely ambitious and determined to have her own moment in the spotlight, at certain points in their long-standing careers, Janet's star appeal grew comparable, if not stronger to her moonwalking brother, which, during difficult times, oh, was employed to help soften breaks. negative press and improve Michael's tarnished public image. But with constantly evolving family as well as showbiz dynamics, what was the truth behind their sisterly and brotherly bond? <laughs> How much of a threat did Michael find his baby sister when she started climbing the charts? And did Janet ever resent Michael for the relentless media circus and scandal that overshadowed her and her family? Did their common experience bring them closer what? together? Or did fame, success, and competition drive them apart? I mean, I never heard anything like that. In this series of videos, we go deep into the years of private politics between Michael Jackson and Janet Jackson. But before we begin, Check out our new collection available to purchase online. The link is in the description box below. Growing Up Jackson Born on May 16, 1966 in Gary, Indiana, Janet Danita Jo Jackson was the last of nine children born into the Jackson family. At the time of her birth, Janet's brothers were already performing together as the Jackson Five. So, unlike her older siblings, Janet never truly experienced their ordinary life in Indiana, as at two years Aww. old, Janet was whisked off to Los Angeles to join her family as they were developing careers in show business. Mm. Having signed a contract with Motown Records in 1969, her brothers would go on to rule the charts as the Jackson Five. And as a result, Janet grew up in the privileges that fame and fortune provided the rest of the family. However, with success also came sacrifice, as her brother's hectic schedule meant that they were often away from the family home. Whether on promotional tours or performing around the world, Janet idolized her often elusive brothers as some of her earliest memories were seeing them perform to thousands, as well as watching their Saturday morning cartoon series. As a child, Janet remembers being happiest snuggled up with her siblings telling jokes and watching television together on her mother's bed. With sisters much older than her, Janet grew up to be a tomboy as she naturally resonated okay. more with her younger brothers. And in particular, Michael. Janet always looked oh, up to Michael and so whenever cute. he was home, they would spend a lot of time together. Said to be most alike, both were inherently shy, sensitive, and bonded over their love of animals, with Janet developing a particular fondness for horses. As a child, Janet initially wanted to become a horse racing jockey. But her father was keen for his youngest child to go into the family business and pursue a career in entertainment. Even mm. though the shy seven-year-old showed little interest in performing, Janet Jackson first appeared on stage at the MGM Casino on the Las Vegas Strip, singing and doing impressions alongside brother Randy in the Jackson family act. With cherubic looks, a sweet voice, and comic wit, Janet clearly shared a <laughs> similar star quality to Michael and she soon began acting in the family's televised variety show in 1976. Her performance earned her the attention of producers, who then hired Janet to play Penny in the TV comedy series Good Times. Quote, I would set my alarm clock for 5.30 a.m., get myself dressed and get myself out of the door for work five days a week, she recounted. Quote, 
And for a 10 year old to have that kind of discipline, yeah. there's a lot to be said for that. The television role also gave her an so insight sweet. into the realities <laughs> of working on set, but also exposed Janet to a world she wasn't yet prepared for. Constantly judged on her looks, these early years would have a profound impact on her body image that would continue to haunt her throughout her life. Janet Jackson's nickname, Dunk, what is was coined by judge? her brother Michael because it. of her chunky build as a child. He would joke and tease her, saying that she looked like a donkey, while on good times, Janet was put on a diet. Quote, I wasn't a heavy kid, but I was developing very quickly. She stated, quote, on good times, they would put gauze around my chest to make me smaller. And I think that has an effect on you. Things like that when you're growing up. Having a part in a hit TV show, as well as being the younger sister to the country's most popular boy band, might sound like every little girl's dream. But the reality was very different for Janet. Growing up in the spotlight bought a huge amount of attention, good and bad, as children would often befriend Janet, but only to get closer to her famous brothers while others would resent her fledging career in show business and question her talents. Asserting her last name had everything to do with it. Much like Michael, Janet found it difficult to find genuine friends and learned to inherently distrust others in their motivations. As a result, Janet's self-esteem took a major hit as she interrogated her looks, abilities, and inherent self-worth as she progressed into adolescence. As an adult, it has been well documented that Janet's older brother Michael mourned the loss of his childhood due to his early ascent into superstardom. Although fame and fortune gave Michael the opportunity to be celebrated for his talents, travel the world, and meet his idols, it also overwhelmed him with great sadness as he grieved the loss of his childhood innocence. As another Jackson Child star who was performing on a national stage even earlier than Michael's 11 years, Janet has been asked if she has ever resented the career that was forced upon her at such an early age. Quote, Who am I really to complain or nag about it? Because I had more of a childhood than my brothers. I, I still did lose some of my childhood, and yeah, I do think kids should be kids, but this was my life. Wow. After two years in a recurring role on Good Times, a teenage Janet Jackson went on to appear on another popular sitcom, Aww. Different Strokes. But when at home, it was Janet's job to take care of her brother Michael, even though he was eight years older than her. Quote, I would shop for him. I washed his clothes and cleaned his room. <laughs> when mother would go out of town, she'd say, I'm leaving you in charge. Take care of Michael. What? The sibling's bond remained close, sharing responsibilities in the care of their growing menagerie of exotic pets, and making night Ooh, runs like in the car picture. to give out food to the homeless in downtown Los Angeles. The snake around his neck? Janet remembers Michael at this time as very sweet and gentle, intelligent, with a devious sense of humor. As they would often spend most of their time together in the house, Janet would it. naturally be roped into some of Michael's musical projects including improvised <laughs> percussion for his off-the-wall demos, as well as backing vocals on Michael's Thriller record. Having witnessed the success Michael was able to attain as a solo artist, it was at this time that Janet Jackson became more interested in pursuing her own music career. Michael was supportive of his baby sister's aspirations and encouraged her to read different books from his collection on acting, music, dance, and theater. But at the same time, the two were fiercely competitive with each other and themselves as well as shared a keen interest in the business side of the music industry. With the guidance of her brother Michael, Janet's father and manager arranged a contract with A&M Records, and the 16-year-old released her self-titled debut album in 1982. However, the record didn't manage to cross into the pop market and received little promotion. Janet's second attempt, Dream Street, was released two years later and failed to sell as well as its predecessor. Even though the record's first single, Don't Stand Another Chance, was a family affair, produced by brother Marlon with vocal ad-libs by Michael. <laughs> Ironically, <laughs> Janet's disappointing debut onto the music scene came exactly when Michael's celebrity was skyrocketing into a new stratosphere of mega stardom, after the release of his Thriller album in 1982. Janet, therefore, had the opportunity to see the pop star up close during this monumental period. Michael's little sister even helped them choose an outfit for the Motown 25 special in which he was set to perform his new single, Billie Jean, taking a famously sparkly black jacket from oh his mother's God. closet. Quote, 
If it was shiny, if it had any kind of bling, he loved it, hey. Janet said. <laughs> After it was confirmed that Michael's Thriller record had become the biggest selling album of all time, and Michael mania had truly spread across the globe, the obvious question was, did Janet feel overshadowed by her glistening gloved brother? Quote, no, never asserted the young actress when she joined the TV adaptation of Fame. Quote, Everyone is so happy and so proud of Michael. There is no competition between us at all. The Jackson sisters said that before her brother's much-anticipated victory tour, her hotel phone would ring often, waking her up in the middle of the night with people asking if she could get them tickets. Quote, I had to tell them I was sorry that I couldn't help. I didn't even have good seats myself. We were way at the top of the arena. Janet said. I can imagine her saying As that part of the fourth season voice. of Fame, Janet played the character of Cleo Hewitt, but expressed indifference towards the role. Overwhelmed by negative press attention associated with the Jackson tour and family politics fraying at the seams, Janet yearned to break away. Not only from her strict upbringing, but also from public assumptions made about her due to her family ties. As a result, the 18-year-old chose to elope with a member of another musical family, singer James DeBarge, with court records showing that the couple married on September 7, 1984 in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Janet and DeBarge had been dating for two years, but were still insisting that they were just good friends. However, the Jackson family disapproved of DeBarge and wanted her to wait for marriage. Michael mentioned to others how devastated he was that Janet did not feel comfortable enough to tell him about her secret wedding because he perceived that they were closer than that. Once Aww. Janet moved back home, the relationship quickly hit the rocks due to DeBarge's struggle with substance abuse, and the marriage was annulled less than a year later. Upon this announcement, oh, Janet why. said to Essence magazine that the breakdown was caused by pressures from others. Quote, they didn't like it that James and I went ahead and got married and didn't care what they said. People were telling us and lecturing us about that. So we decided to go ahead and get an annulment so that everybody would just shut up and let us go on with our careers. There's so much that I need to be doing. Even though the marriage didn't work out, by seizing the moment, Janet sent a clear signal to her father and the rest of the family that Janet was no longer the baby and was in charge of her like own Satan. life. Her brother's tremendous solo success taught her that it was very possible to break away from her father's formidable grip to thrive on her own and create a name for herself, having always resided in the shadows of her showbiz brothers without any noteworthy success in her own right. This was now the time for Janet to firmly take her rightful position in the limelight and for the first time, take control. Oh, this is Watch so out for part well two documented. As we investigate I love Janet this. One thing that he mentioned in the video that I have always noticed about Michael and Janet it's just how close they always were and he said like there was no rival rivalry like they always did seem like they supported each other and it was genuine like you know most celebrity uh siblings or whatever there's always some type of like weird tension between them but with janet and michael i never got that from them and so just to hear and see like how close they actually were. I mean, we've seen that in the screen video, like how close they are. Like that is so good to see. But yeah, y'all, that was our reaction to this video. If you guys enjoy my reaction, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next reaction video.